Hey, what's going on, other razor freaks out there? Um, so, as the title states, this is a 2,500-mile review on a 2018 Polaris Razor XP Turbo 4-seater. Uh, my rig's actually got 20, over 2,600 miles on it now, but I don't see many over 2,000-mile reviews, so uh, I'll give you a whirl with mine. <clears throat> and kind of, uh, if you're looking at getting one or have one, and want to know opinions on stuff you want to get for yours, uh, I can help you make a decision. All right, so this is my 2018 Ghost Gray Walker Evans Edition Turbo Four Seater. Um, if you look, uh, the trailing arms, the orange control arms, and the hood are the only thing left of. of stock um, last winter I took uh, all the plastic off in the, in the steering wheel um, <clears throat> but I even painted the dash the, the black took off the, the safety stickers painted the, the dash and everything um, but I, last winter I took all the plastic off which you wouldn't believe how much plastic are on these things um, with all the individual pieces my brother's got a body shop and it took two times um, I guess it, it, his, it was so full we couldn't get all the plastic in there to, to spray everything at once, put it that way, in his booth. Um, <clears throat> but 2,600 miles, um, I will tell you right now, I've gone through two sets of rear brake pads. I just noticed that we just got back from uh, Drummond Island, Michigan. Um, if you're in Michigan or like to travel, um, that is definitely a place to go to. That's that's the reason for the deep clean. <clears throat> Normally I don't go this far. I mean, I spray it off in here, but I actually power wash everything as far as all the paint goes. And typically I don't brush the roof neither, but um, I always brush the rims and the paint and everything you can see. Just when you spend $22,000 on a machine or a car or anything, me personally, I like to take care of it. So... Um, I'll flash up what this looked like stock. If you were to look at a 2018, you'd, you'd find it. But I'll put a picture of mine up when I got it stock. Um, I think the first thing I did um, was mirrors. Uh, they're, they're almost a must in the trails with these things. They're so freaking long. They're school buses, so it takes forever. Um, to, well, it's like a three or four or five point turnaround, depending on how tight the trails you're in. But... Mirrors are a must. If you do any type of night riding, at least one light bar. If you like to rip around and go fast, um, I'm gonna be real with you. These are eBay lights. I think that was a $33 light up top. Um, these are 18 watt. I just bought them because my other eBay lights quit working on me. Um, but they do help and I got them angled a little bit. I don't know if you can tell or not. Um, but when like I'm facing the garage door or something, I got five lights just in every direction so it works out pretty good for night riding um, I do have lights in the back too <clears throat> those help for backing up in the dark obviously fire extinguisher I'm a firefighter so um, I just like to have that and you hear all the stories about these burning up so uh, windshield that is a must I'm in Michigan so that's a must for anywhere from now to April or May and then I got a half windshield for the summer. Um, seats are stock. I would love a set of some suspension seats, but man, they're expensive. Normally I don't take the seats out neither, but them need to be blasted. The uh, Drummond Island trip was just nasty. Um, I mean, that's, that's an impact and that was kind of hidden, so that doesn't do it justice of how muddy we were. <clears throat> I just got done washing this thing, but uh, aftermarket rims were one of the maybe most expensive upgrades I got along with the roof got the roof the lights the windshield mirrors and all that on one purchase of eBay but the rims um, they are an offset so it does make it a little wider which makes it a little bit tougher looking um, uh, just maybe a month ago I got the shock therapy um, shocks for it which do improve the ride 
you look, the uh, it is actually a, a dual rate versus what comes factory. And the factory ones are so compressed that the just doesn't work. They, they work, but I wanted more plush ride. Um, another thing would be the Evo charge tubes. <clears throat> Put those on. Um, I think before Labor Day. And I got the blow off valve that you can see right there. So you can hear the whoosh. Um, it's also got a Rev 1 stage 2 kit. So it's supposed to be at like maybe 189 horsepower now. Um, but yeah, the, the rear shoes, I can't believe it. I was washing my rim right here and them pads are, they look gone. If you look at me, it almost looks scratched. There's just no pad left. That's my second set. The granite, them are eBay as well. I ain't go with factory, but the factory ones only last about less than 2,000 miles anyways. These maybe have six, seven, maybe 800 miles. I don't remember. Um, the exhaust looks stock. Is not stock. Um, I wanted the, the factory look so I didn't have any issues with any officers or anything like that at idle. It uh, It's a little bit louder but not much. Um, it uh, It's a straight pipe so I took it off and I cut the back of it off. Back here I got a video but it's it's pretty much a straight pipe and it's pretty loud at wide open. Um, couple of my other buddies with these same machines they wanted to do the same thing until I ripped past them at 70 on the road this weekend they said it was pretty ridiculous um, these are just new um, I got these for the weekend and they do help um, I didn't really I got a 4 volt um, Menard special <clears throat> but I got that for taking the belt off because I'm I'm on my seventh belt right now. Um, one of the belts I got was a $40 eBay. It was supposed to be for a turbo, but um, it's 40 bucks on eBay. I'm like, man, I can't not try it. It lasts. We went to Silver Lake Sand Dunes and it lasted um, maybe a thousand feet and then it just broke. It didn't blow up. It just like, like someone cut it with a pair of scissors. <clears throat> for 40 bucks I did buy another one to try it but I am running the EPI belts that I bought off eBay they're 108 bucks um, and they come with a one-year warranty so if you when you blow it up you just send them chunks of the belt the remnants of the belt and um, the the warranty paper Let's see if I got one in here uh, this is something that you'd want to bring some kind of belt that um, or just a something to hold your stuff so that's what I got and it's a turbo belt you gotta send the warranty in um, along with the receipt of purchase and the stuff and $20 and then they'll they'll send you a new one within a week so I do have a red one stage uh, or clutch kit as well it comes with different weights and everything <clears throat> um, like I said, this is one of these. That's the EPI belt, so this is the, the $40 eBay belt. Figured I'd give it a whirl. Um, I always have to have a toe strap, tire kit for a blowout. We had that this weekend. Buddy with his X3 put a finger size hole in the sidewall. <clears throat> so that right there fits perfect in the back of this thing. Um, I also usually take an, a little air compressor with me. Um, so as far as the belt goes, I don't know why I was blowing them. Well, I, I kind of do. I'm pretty hard on this machine. Um, we used to go to Silver Lake a lot with trucks and dirt bikes, and now we all have kids. I have two kids and a wife, so this works out perfect. Um, we beat the crap out of these things. That's why we, we bought them, and that's why I try to maintain them. But um, if you look here, you look at that, that's sandblasted, right? Look at that. When we go to the dunes, I, I run without my cover on. Just, we can rip around. Um, the Glamis guys call our little sandbox, or they call the Silver Lake dunes uh, the sandbox because it's, it's very small compared to what they have. But hey, it is what it is. We enjoy it. 
and uh, so within the what is it the six month warranty I got my clutch rebuilt and it they just they warrantied it um, I also got the carrying bearing replaced they didn't cover that but they installed it for free for me as long as I purchase it which I purchased an all balls brand and I'm pretty sure that's wearing out already it's basically the same thing as stock just a little bit cheaper um, but the the I believe both the primary and the secondary clutch got um, replaced if not the primary for sure um, so that's that's only got about 2,000 miles on it but I do um, I think I made another video that I haven't posted yet, but um, there's quite a bit of wear on, on this machine. I also noticed um, that's going to be a separate video. The snap ring had broke on this thing. It didn't break. It just came off. And my, my, uh, my secondary was actually rubbing the clutch cover. So you'll see that in the video um, if you watch that one. Um, another thing I got because I was blowing so many belts, I bought this OSP uh, clutch blower. Um, it does help, and it also helps when you blow out the the the, uh, the belt because the let's see this tube right here that is the um, the exhaust vent for the clutch cover, and a lot of the stuff goes out of there, so it doesn't get tangled up as much. Um, but that as soon as I turn the key on that clicks on and I and it blows out quite a bit of heat So I want to say that does help somewhat, but eh, I mean I'm on my seventh belt, so uh, Let's see what else um, I think um, This winter this winter I I do asphalt work, so um, I'm seasonal here in Michigan this winter I'm chopping my cage down. Um, let the haters hate, buy an aftermarket one. I don't feel like spending 2,500 bucks and everybody can get that same cage. Again, I beginning video I told you I'd like to be different. Um, I want everything like my roof I already have. Um, I'm just gonna chop that down. I'm only 5'6", the rest of my family's short too, so I'm gonna chop that down about s at least four inches, six inches, because I think that's gonna give it a lot better look. Um, I'm gonna take my time with it and do it right, but um, and then I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna redo the cage orange, and all the control arms. Gonna repaint all those um, because they're they're pretty scuffed up. The fronts aren't too bad. The rears, I mean, they're gonna look pretty pretty messed up, uh, like your first ride if you're on it at all. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't do it justice. <clears throat> but those are bad, so I'm going to redo that. Um, now, this, my very first ride out with this thing, if you look, there's an indent right there. Um, I smoked a tree at about 30 miles an hour with the, with the right rear. And for the longest time, my tire was sitting like this. So anytime I gassed it, um, which way was it? Maybe it was out. Um, every time I gas it, it just went to the right. I dog track bad. You know, you're driving with the steering wheel sideways, going straight down the road. So that's what the dent's from. I put it on a press. I took that off, put it on a press, and straightened it out. And it's it's a lot better now. It's you can put a board on it and it's straight. I just happened to put a dent in it. Not a big deal. Um, oh, lower doors. Lower doors are awesome. They keep a lot of the mud out. And these ones, again, cheap, 150 bucks, eBay. Um, the factory, or the Polaris ones, I think they do a better job, but they're $600. Um, maybe I'm cheap, I don't know if it is what it is, but they look good now that everything's painted and, and matched, but those are a must. They do get hot in the summer. Um, when you're running lower doors and in the windshield in the summer, it does get hot in there. So a lot of times when we go to Silver Lake, I'm running half windshield and I'll take the front lower doors off. Uh, it's three bolts and to me it's almost worth it because it's the, the, the flow. But like this past weekend you're doing any type of mud trail riding, the lower doors are nice to have. 
it's just when it's 95 degrees out uh, in, in the sand, it's hot. Um, that came off when I was washing. So these, I lost one of these in the woods one time. I drained water. And they can fall through. So they, I just dropped it. I'm not sure if I video it, but they can, can come, fall through there. And that's how I lost my first one. eBay again, bought a set. Um, this one at Drummond Island, there's, it's all rocks and it, uh, must have broke and I lost that one. So I have an extra one I'm going to throw in there. Um, other than that, that's about, that's about it. I haven't really had no, no major issues. I mean, the belt, the brakes, I change my oil every 30. I'm going to up it to uh, 50 hours now, but I've been doing it every 30. Uh, just because how hard I am on the machine. My very first oil change was black. Um, and I got a buddy that had a 2016 turbo and his still looks like you just poured it out of the bottle. And I don't, I'm not sure if he is as hard on his machine as I am. Uh, my buddies tell me I'm pretty hard on my machine and I should buy one every year. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's about it. Shock therapy, the, uh, the, Rev one stage two clutch kit um, does make a difference, um, and and the Rev one stage two kit uh, tuning, you can tell a noticeable difference when lining up. So that little 18 horsepower tune it got, you can definitely tell in a light machine like this. So um, I hope that helped answer some of your questions. Um, this right here is a is a tow bar from when we get pulled into the dunes. I hook up like a three foot tow bar and we get towed behind a truck into the dunes. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm pretty happy with the machine. That was, the belts were getting a little annoying at $200 a pop. I was getting them from 189 for a discount from the dealer I bought it from, but I tried the EPI belts and for the most part, they're, they're holding up just as good as a, as a player's belt. And they get a warranty, so I get two for uh, 100 and 100 and like 30 bucks. So at 130 bucks for two of them, you gotta wait a week. But if you, you know, that's why I always carry multiple belts, um, toe strap, rain gear. So yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully this video helps. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Um, these are the, the stock tires. So the front's, front's got decent tread yet. The back, it's kind of hard not to do a burnout. Um, but they're getting getting pretty wore out. I haven't, um, there's a big chunk missing right there. Um, I haven't noticed a huge difference. And I mean, I, I probably will once I get some new shoes put on it. But as of right now, these are doing just fine. I'm gonna wear them pretty much bald. Um, I do plan on going with at least 30 inch tires versus the 29s. Um, I was also contemplating 32s. I just, I'm all about speed and I don't want to lose, I don't want to uh, lose how fast it is right now. So, and then, you know, I'm just not sure on the, the belt issues. Had another guy, buddy of mine with a 2017 turbo with 32s and just, I think he got a lemon because he had nothing with the issues with it. So, thanks for watching. Um, I tried making it short and sweet and telling you everything I did with the machine um, I think that is about it so thanks for watching uh, check out the rest of the video subscribe and catch you next time